So excited to be here right now. Hey everyone, here we are at the Cartoon Network Hotel at room 132. My mom and my sons are booked in this room while my husband and I are booked in room 128, two doors away. And I'm just giving you a quick video tour of the room. Here we are obviously in the bathroom area. Very clean looking and comfy. Hey everyone, welcome to our room, room 128 at the Cartoon Network Hotel here in Lancaster, Pennsylvania, right next door to Dutch Wonderland. We'll be visiting Dutch Wonderland tomorrow. And so we drove, we being my husband, <laughs> drove to Lancaster, Pennsylvania to spend two nights here at the Cartoon Network Hotel for a nice and easy walk over to Dutch Wonderland. Here we're obviously in the bathroom, trying to show you as much as I see here. And yeah, it's a nice cozy place to stay. Very well themed, of course, for the Cartoon Network shows. And obviously lots of colors that pop. I don't play around. Yes, I sanitize in the rooms, at the hotels I stay at. We are still in a pandemic. Sanitizing the remote is like basic hotel 101 when you check into your room, okay? I was doing this before the pandemic, so I'm definitely doing it now. And I just sanitize hangers, the bathroom, all the surfaces here, including the nightstands. And I actually still need to do the telephone. I hope you guys sanitize when you check into your hotel rooms. So I actually had gloves on when I first started using the Lysol wipes over there, but I took them off after wiping down the toilet. Uh, yeah. So now I did the remote and the hangers without gloves. So now I gotta wash my hands and then we're gonna go over to my mom's room. Cause our boys are over there. We are so hungry guys and we realize it's almost seven o'clock and the cartoon kitchen closes at eight so let's hope we get some food look there guys <laughs> oh maybe it's in here hi where's the cartoon kitchen in here? That's what I thought. Thank you. Hi! 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 Look, look! Give him a fist bump! <laughs> Landon, do you want to give him a fist bump? <laughs> Alright, so we're going to wait to be seated at the Cartoon Kitchen. Over there is the Barista Cafe that'll probably open in the morning for coffee and things. So I completely forgot to film us walking to our seat, but we are seated here. Wow, why are these four things for? Four arms. Four arms making your food? Oh, he's washing your plate. Come on, come on. You can't watch so many things. Choose one. Tapafil, I mean that, or gumball. Which one do you like? Gumball. 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 Gumball.
Not always, but a lot of times, yes. <laughs> Landon, behave yourself, please. And I want you to stop. I only said it once. No, you said it like eight times. Did you really have breakfast in the morning? My life, ladies and gentlemen. Heroes of the Pure Heart. Ah, no, it's coming. Well, the next character is coming, but then the next. Yeah. Oh, that's a huge fish. Oh, my. Oh, that might be my salmon. Potato is really I good, guys. Then why did you say no before? Yes, I'm dancing at the dinner table. That's how you know it's good. Ten-year-old doing this though. <laughs> so yes, it is safe to say we are fans of the Cartoon Kitchen here at the Cartoon Network Hotel in Lancaster, Pennsylvania. There are all these little areas themed for different Cartoon Network shows and just the bright pops of color throughout and the wonderful service, the delicious food. It's, it's definitely something to be experienced if you are in or near the Lancaster, Pennsylvania area. We drove all the way from New York and we are thrilled to have had this experience and to be sharing it with you. Let us know if you have any questions about the Cartoon Kitchen in particular or about any part of our trip here to the Cartoon Network Hotel. See you soon, Cartoon Kitchen. We're outie for tonight. dinner at the cartoon kitchen and I'm gonna flip the camera around so you can see the room and how it looks and where things are now that I've unpacked all the items that I showed you before that I packed all right so there's the head tie scarf comb brushes deodorant lip balm lotion vitamins all that there's the hubby I didn't pack him but you know he drove us here so he gets to stay right hubby mm -hmm. <laughs> <clears throat> There we go, lotion, lip balm, deodorant again in the drawers. I put towels on top of our zip-up bags, even though I wiped out the drawers, and on top of our packing cubes, even though I wiped out the drawers, that's just me. There we go. There we go. And after I did the room tour, I realized that there's a safe in here. I thought it was a drawer, but pretty spacious safe. 
as I already showed you guys the refrigerator. We only have one juice in there right now, but my mom has juice and water in the cooler that we brought all the way from New York. Here are the clothes. Alan's stuff is on that side. My stuff is on the right. And toiletries, Lysol wipes, that sort of stuff. Bag that I unpacked. Suitcase over there in the corner. So yeah, everything is pretty easy. I didn't put any of our stuff in here yet. I think I'll probably try out their body wash. I usually do give the body wash in the hotels a try, but I like to bring my own soap. Usually travel with Irish Spring just because. And yeah, there's everything. It was very easy to unpack this from the roomie. I literally just took it out and kept it on the hanger, hung it right up. There were a few pieces like Alan's shorts that we put on the hotel hangers. And by the way, they call this place the Cartoon Network Hotel. Loosely speaking, it is a motel though, as you saw from when our kids were hop skipping and jumping along the way, our room is facing the driveway. So it's not a hotel where you have an enclosed hallway and enclosed rooms. Um, yeah, when it's fine, I'm just saying, don't want you to be misled. If you do your research, which I gather you're doing by watching this video, then you will know that it is actually a motel named the Cartoon Network Hotel. But we're gonna watch some TV, and when we turned on the TV, look what we saw. Welcome, Peter Gate Daniel, not Daniel Peter Gate. My first name is Peter Gate. My last name is Daniel, which is, I think, what they mean. Um, yeah, but this is cool. It reminds me of the cruise ships when we get on and turn the TV on with a welcome, a warm welcome to the Cartoon Network Hotel. Network Hotel, Not Soap Radio, and the facial soap says the same thing, and the hand soap said the same thing, but I undid that one really quickly, so I didn't actually stop to take it all in. Not Soap Radio. Everything here is really themed after things you'll see in here on the Cartoon Network. Thanks for watching.